I have something I want to say to you. Something I need, that my generation needs, and something that I've discovered. It's my greatest hope, and at the same time, it's my worst fear. And I'm asking you to listen. He transformed you, and you become a new creation in Christ. The word of the Lord shall be revealed in all flesh shall see it together. That challenge is one that we're willing to accept and one we intend to win. It matters little, my friends, how the head lies, provided the heart is right. Look, we have a big problem. This generation has a big problem. We're numb, we're afraid, we're uh, disillusioned, and most of all, we're empty. I think this, this Christianity that we've invented, this, this Happy Meal, narcissistic, God exists for me, prosperity thing, it, it doesn't work. When it comes to our faith, we are walking away. It's, it's an epidemic, it's an entire generation. Uh, we know we need something, but we don't know what that something is. We're in trouble. But what we don't know is that 40 years ago, there was a generation that felt just like we do. If I were the devil, if I were the prince of darkness, I'd want to engulf the whole world in darkness. So I set about, however necessary, to take over the United States. I would convince them that man created God instead of the other way around. I'd soon have families at war with themselves, churches at war with themselves, and nations at war with themselves. In other words, if I were the devil, I'd just keep right on doing what he's doing. In doing research, uh, for our next feature film, it's a true story from the 70s. I stumbled onto a story, I found something, and it's embodied in the front cover of Time magazine <laughs> that read the Jesus Revolution. And when I started interviewing people that live this, I realized that this was something far beyond anything that I had ever experienced uh, in my Christian faith. And the more I studied, the more it started to change me, and, and I began to think if this could change me, maybe this could change other people like me. Maybe this could change people that are abandoning their faith. Maybe this could change a generation. Maybe there could be another Jesus revolution. Uh, there's been four uh, awakenings in America, but none in our lifetime. It's something that we've barely heard about. And when it comes to the Jesus movement in the 70s, this is a story that we have not been told. And we have to change that. And when Ben Affleck made, made Argo, he said something really profound. He said, films are our children's education. It is, in my opinion, the best tool of communication in the known world when it comes to this generation. So uh, we want to tell a story. We want to make a movie. We want to make a documentary feature film that tells the entire story of the Jesus movement from beginning to end. But we don't want it to be a boring infomercial. We want this to be an incredible, undeniable emotional experience. We want a generation to feel like they have lived the Jesus movement for themselves. So why Kickstarter? Why are we here? Why am I talking to you? The answer is simple. I want to do something that no movie studio would ever let me do, uh, that no investor group could let me do. We are here to do something revolutionary. We believe the gospel should be Free. The Holy Spirit is the one that performs the operation of regeneration. We want to give this film away. We want it to be in theaters, we want it to be on DVD and, and uh, Blu-ray and all the traditional platforms, but ultimately we want this film to be free online to as many people as can see it forever. The only way we can do it is together, and that's why we need your help. Uh, this was a story of God being undeniable. Skeptics, beatniks, hippies, and broken people just like me, just like us. I want to tell that story to a generation that needs it just as bad as they did. This was a story of a true life nationwide revolution. Listen to me. It can happen again. Hey.